Your eyes do not deceive you. This is a lemon. I make my husband lug this huge tree with thorns on it um, inside. So the Ponderosa lemon is actually a hybrid between a citron and a regular table lemon like this. And a citron is a huge citrus fruit. Citrus varieties that are derived from citrons. We have the Ponderosa lemon, which is another citron hybrid. This is a standard grocery store lemon. You see it fits really nicely in the palm of my hand. And today I'm gonna to talk about my Ponderosa lemon tree, which is now 11 years old. And this is the most lemons I ever had on this tree. Let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is one of the Ponderosa lemons. And um, I bought it from this place called Logies and they're in Connecticut and they're like an American nursery. And I really love this tree. Oh, you can see that it grows in a container in this large pot and it makes a great container plant. And this is the most lemons that I've ever got. And just look at the size comparison. I mean, some of these can weigh up to two pounds. This one is probably about a pound and a half. And this one right here is the largest lemon on the tree. I'll call it the king lemon. And I'm doing this video because I'll probably pick some of these lemons soon because you can see all of the new blossoms that are coming and those will be new fruit. So these are really new blossoms right here. These are kind of like a mid-stage. But over here, I have my first um, open blossoms. And look at these beautiful flowers. And they actually have like a really nice lemon scent. And I can't wait for all of these to open up. Here's another cluster right here. Another cluster right here. So this tree um, stays outside for a little bit more than half the year. This is a picture of the tree when it was outside and look how green the lemons are. Honestly, this was probably outside until November. So basically once we get below freezing at night on like a consistent basis, this tree must remain indoors. And I would call this size more of like a regular lemon, but you can still see that it's still a really large lemon. So usually when we get the blossoms, not all of them will turn into lemons, but um, so far this is the most I've seen and I probably have at least 12 bunches of blossoms so far. So I'm gonna try to get that many lemons this year. Let's just have another look at that. Look at that, that's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I love anything scented and I really love citrus and that's why I bought this tree. But for perspective, um, I've already picked one lemon this year and I'm gonna pick the, the next one. So I make my husband lug this huge tree with thorns on it um, inside. <laughs> so he knows, he knows what, what he has to do. He and my son do it. And if you look at, let me find a thorn. There's a thorn right there. It has really like large thorns. Um, some of them I have already cut off and I like this tree for a lot of reasons. When it's outside, the deer actually do not bother. The okay, there's some thorns right there. Uh, and yes, they will really stick you, so. But he's really, um, he's really a good sport about it. So let's pick the big lemon. Let's see if I can hold this and pick this lemon. <laughs> look how look how big this is. I can I have my hand is like totally <laughs> at like its widest length to pick this lemon. So let's see if I can pick this huge lemon. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to pick this one. Okay, let's let's pick this one. I'm gonna let that one hang on a little bit. So let's let let's pick this one right here. And again, I mean, this is a huge lemon. Okay, here we go.
Wow. And there it is. Look at that. Look at that. You can't even, you can't even see like my hand. So look at this beautiful lemon. And we're going to cut this open and see, and I'm going to make some candy lemon peel and some candy lemon slices and a lemon cake also because I like to bake. So let's just see a comparison. We'll call this, I don't know, the giant. And then look at that. Okay, nobody saw those, those dead leaves back there. So, so look at these two together. Really no comparison. So thank you, Logies. And I'll have to say thank you to Martha Stewart because that's where I first saw the catalog. Um, remember she had that great TV show and and I was just um, really hooked after that. I looked it up and I've had this treat 11 years. So if you would like some giant lemons, um, they're not really hard to grow, but I suggest that you buy a tree and get started because the tree has to be a little bit mature. You see how big, um, I'm gonna call it a stalk, maybe not a trunk, because you need support for these really heavy fruits. I did get one huge lemon my second year, FYI. And I'll talk briefly about this tree. This is another tree I bought from Logies. It has not gone into flowering yet. And this is going to be a variegated pink lemon. So the flesh is pink and there's stripes on the outside of this lemon. It's gonna have like a pink flesh on the outside and kind of like um, green and yellow stripes on the outside. And it's doing pretty well. This is another one of my plants from Logies, and this is a French perfume jasmine. And you can see that this is really large. It's really large. It has like kind of a viney growth. And this is 11 years old also. Um, here's one of the blossoms. It's dried, um, but I should get another one from from right here, from right there. And they have a beautiful fragrance. I love anything that's like really fragranced, heavily fragranced. And this is yet another type of jasmine. And this is called the Grand Duke of Tuscany. And no, I did not name this. That's the name of this one. And I'm starting to see some new growth a little bit right there. And I'm excited for that. And again, just really fragrant blossoms. And then over here, this is one of my new, I don't buy many plants and I really like only plants that are scented. And this is um, a yellow jasmine. And this one has not flowered yet. Um, I do, I do really love plants. And these are, these are some of my orchids. And this is called um, water culture. And water culture is when they have like wet days and dry days. And some of these were almost dead. I've had this one for years and it's never flowered. And honestly, the leaves have never like looked this good. As you can see in this picture, one of the leaves was so flexible, now it's not. So I took it out of its potting medium and there's just a little bit of water at the bottom and um, maybe once a week I'll pour that water out and leave it to dry for two days. And this one, this leaf is going, but look at this beautiful new leaf. It's nice and shiny and well-shaped. And these are really liking the water culture, so I'm excited for this. As you can see, this orchid was also really dehydrated. In fact, today should probably be a dry day. I kind of lost count. And this is one more. And all of these orchids were really struggling. Um, some of them had not flowered in years. They were just kind of like ornamental green like foliage. So I would like to get them to flower. So I have two more orchids. This orchid right here, um, it's doing well. This is planted in coconut media. And look at these really nice and healthy um, juicy looking roots growing right here. I think they're called roots. 
and two more right here. So I decided not to put this one into the water culture. And this one has some buds on it and hopefully I'll get some really nice blooms. Here's the first bloom, which happened about two weeks after I took the other video. And this was a huge orchid when I got it. So I didn't know what to do with this. So this is the, what is this, a stalk? This is called a flower spike. So for about a year, this flower spike was on here and I decided not to cut it off because it looks so healthy. And I'm glad I didn't cut it off because you see that another flower spike grew out of there and it looks nice and healthy. So I just left it. And this is my last orchid. I had these beautiful, like um, kind of dark red flowers. This was a really beautiful orchid. Look at that nice color. And again, this was last year's flower spike. I did not cut it off because it was really healthy and green and thick. And look, you see how the new flower spike was growing out of there? And I should maybe get four blossoms off of there. And then look, another one started growing. And look at that. I dare say that is two different spikes. And then I swear another spike is trying to grow. So look at that little, I'm gonna call it a little bud right there. And I thought that was just so fascinating. So this one, this one I did grow in water culture. Um, and it's done better since then. So let me just pick this up. So look at the roots. And um, some of these are looking kind of dried, so I should cut them off. But honestly, the orchids have really liked this kind of um, water culture. And I'll show you how much water I had in the bottom. So that's the water that I had, and you see some of the roots were completely submerged, just like this. I wish it didn't like lean so much. It's really like a leany plant. I hope that you have enjoyed my indoor garden of all things tropical and scented and beautiful. Um, thanks so much and look out for that video about the lemon pound cake with the candied lemon slices and candy lemon peel. So this orchid has bloomed two blossoms and a sad update on my other orchid. Look at this sad orchid. I, I literally put this poor orchid into shock because remember those long roots? And it wouldn't stand up in the pot. So I cut the roots and sent it into shock and there was too much water. So the leaves got like really waterlogged. So I don't know. So I cut off one of the flower spikes to try to conserve some of the energy. And here's the flower spike and I'm still gonna try to bloom this. There's two blossoms on it, so. So if you try water culture, um, I guess just make sure that you don't have too many roots down in the water. And if they're really long, and basically just don't cut off random roots on your orchid, you know, they're, they're very like delicate and sensitive. So that's a little sad update. I will try to rehab this this year.